thank you so much, President Tessier Levine. And thank you, class of 2021, for welcoming me, an old millennial, to your commencement address. It's an honor I don't take lightly. As I was preparing my speech, I thought to myself, how can we be better? And after much thought, I narrowed it down to three imperative attributes that I believe Generation Z must embody in order to gain success in this world. Things that I wish I knew as a young nascent millennial. And I'll list those three attributes for you now. Firstly, prioritize your relationships. All seven or eight of them. Your roster says a lot about you and who you are as a person, and it's important to keep it full and robust. And after many months of talking with someone, maybe years even, you may get serious with that one special person in particular. You may feel the urge to do it, which is totally natural. And when you do do it, it may feel uncomfortable, scary, a little awkward, overwhelmingly intimate. But going on a date is something your parents did, it's something us millennials have dabbled in. And I encourage you to be brave, but only do it when you're ready. Now secondly, and this may sound a little cliche, don't be a follower. Build your following. Minimum six figures, right? And I don't care how you do it. You can go on The Bachelor, get to the Hype House, post the thirst traps, you know? It's crucial to keep your follower to following ratio properly balanced. This way, you will secure brand deals right, with Chef's Plate and HelloFresh, and this will ensure much success for you in the future. And thirdly, and, and perhaps most importantly, no matter your race, your religion, your creed, your color, your sexual orientation, or your gender identity, you must have abs. And I, I cannot stress this enough. I actually, I'd like to share a personal story with you. I never had abs growing up. Yeah, it's, it's, a sad, it's a sad fact about me. And I believe it cost me many wonderful opportunities, both professional and personal, because I didn't make it a priority. I urge you to not make the same mistake that I did. And I suggest following Addison Rae and Harry Jowsey as beacons of hope and inspiration on that journey. I'd like to close with one of my favorite proverbs. Give a man a fish, he'll eat for a day. But teach a man how to be an influencer, and he will eat until his mid-30s. Congratulations, class of 2021. Go get him.